She's my girlfriend. She's my side chick. Mm. She's my mistress. Love it. She's my best friend. She's my wife. Mm. Oh. Mm. And we must quarrel every day. <laughs> <laughs> you must quarrel every uh, day. <laughs> it makes it nice when I see which in the world, you know, they tire. <laughs> Makes it better for me, Joe. Right. Yeah. So this same playfulness is it, you take it even into the marriage. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where it's supposed to be. Think about it. You know, one day she warned me. She said, eh, "If I catch you, I will cut it." <laughs> so <laughs> I remember how tired I am when I sleep. Sleep. I sleep dead. <laughs> <laughs> to the imagine if there's a knife to the base. Ah, you have to smile and apologize. Right? <laughs> All the time. I support you. You've been married for at least 28 years. That's childish. <laughs> How do you mean? Because my daughter is 30. Right. Oh, wow. So it's so more we are, than... It's so more we are miscalculating. So yeah. I was going to ask to say, how did uh, the son of a soldier end up being permitted to do Mr. Unicar? We thought about it. That, ah, this, this is going to give us some... Relief. Maybe we will be able to put pepper in our mouth. This is just Gary <laughs> so alone. alone. So that's how that was our motivation. That's how we <laughs> got the form on the same day. Right. Carried some weights, did some push-ups on the same day, took a bath, oiled our body until we were stupidly bronzed. And then we <laughs> like and then we walked up and down the stage in Pine Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill for a photo. <laughs> You don't want to go there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So all, after all the smiles and after all the anticipation, and then I was announced with I was so excited. I was just seeing dollar signs in front of my eyes. Money, money, money. And until now, that money hasn't come on. What? Ah. <laughs> Look, let me just give you this off the cuff. The very first film to be screened in the Nigerian territory was in 1903. In Glover Hall. Really? Ah, oh, my mom was a rascal. Everybody, all my friends would know tomorrow. <laughs> when, when I was in university and she was coming to visit us, she would come with bottles of brandy, rolls of cigarettes. I love was, her. Yeah, she would sit down with us. In the, we got a lead off campus. She would sit down and she would light a stick of cigarettes. And call everybody out. Let's do drinks and stuff. It was easy to speak with my parents. Mm. Kenneth Okonkwa. Okonkwa, right. Yeah. That was his first acting experience. Yeah. He came in as my co-pilot. Right. And when he came in, he was shaking. <laughs> but... By the time we built him through, I'll tell you, his first excitement was when uh, Kenneth Nabway called him to play the role he did on Living in Bondage. <laughs> on his way back, don't forget, they paid him 500 naira for that role. When the movie was released and he was coming back from the East in, in the night bus, and everybody sort of recognized him. Literally everybody in the world knew him from just one proton. And right after Living in Bondage, I was working then with Bashir Tofer, my friends and I. Shot the second film. I produced the second film in Hollywood. The Unforgiven Sin. Because we believed that, ah, who's this guy? Where's he coming from? We thought that was his first movie. Much later, we found out that he had done like eight or nine films in Yoruba yes. that wasn't a success. Yes, yes, yes. But Living in Bondage became a success because, in my estimation, uh, Igbos are a buying race. So the Igbos would not share. <laughs> So when the movie hit the market, yeah. every evil man wanted his own copy. copy. Automatically. It became a yeah, copy. Instantly. Yes. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> we started counting because we built several estates in our mind, several cars. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little boy, I wanted to be many things. So my father was in the army. Yes. yes. So I wanted to be a soldier at some point. Another point, I wanted to be a, a doctor because he was also a doctor. A doctor, yes. And I was going through my career confusion because it always happens when you, you speak with your friends and there's something they want to do, you find out that maybe you want to do yeah. that as well. So finally, when I became an actor, I, I, I accomplished all of that. <laughs> I've been a doctor, I've been, yeah. I've been everything yeah. I've ever wanted to, to be. be just because I finally made it as an actor. Yeah. You know, sometimes we carry a lot of baggage we shouldn't. You know, like yes. if I slap you down, you remember it. <laughs> I remember it! <laughs> I love Blood Sisters. I love Blood Sisters. We didn't think it was going to come out like that. Right. You know, we worked with two brilliant directors. Yes. Yes. And we worked in a very, oh my goodness. Yeah. 
Moe made sure we had a slice of heaven. The working environment was unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't even say the most important thing. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that the little leaflet that uh, the leaf, the uh, check leaf that got into our car. <laughs> also, Papa did to sleep. Look, 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 look very light, <laughs> but increased <laughs> in volume when it hits the car. <laughs> and there was vibration. <laughs> there was a vibration. <laughs> so, so, what would you uh, say is, in terms of you know, raising a family and your kids, what would you say is the one thing that surprised you about being a father and a husband? Um, 